I want to show you some use cases of Spring Core concept that is basically used in project and we highly recommend those concept that is highly used in daily life when you go for any application related launching. Yeah, I'll show you. That is the basic concept concept for browsing it off. That concept is a uh, few that's like inheritance that is the core concept of any programming languages inheritance i'll show you some example like okay i'll code it something every one class is there suppose we'll take as a class a you have to take a method you have to suppose you'll take a m1 method return 35 in that class that is integer value no? we have to return anything suppose we will take another method here we have to take it is int we have to take any float you have to return any float value like 17 okay that is two method class a has two method that is uh, method 1 and method m2 we'll take some other class like class b extend if you want to use another class 3 inheritance we have here you have to take another method yeah that is another method you have to call in if you want to use m1 method in it so for that you have to use super dot m1 we have to inherit the properties of class a to this class okay m1 that is which type that is integer type so you have to store int suppose you have to take a variable x okay you have to store in it that one. suppose we have to take another class c extends that is you have to extend from here but if you want which one if you if you want to inherit it, that float value so you have to take another method for it for click info super dot m2 we have to store in it that is the float value no? you have to store in float f okay here i will show you class b require only m1 method class c require only m2 method of class a but inheritance force but inheritance concept is force us to use another method also that is the demerit okay okay that is the demerit in the project it may not possibly class can use only one class behavior there is multiple classes will be there it may be possible to use multiple classes but most of the object oriented programming like c plus plus java not so support java is not supporting multiple inheritance no? if you are using inheritance components it will become fragile our code will become fragile it will easily procurable we don't enforce you to modify the subsequent classes also that is not good for testability or for point of view it is also not good i think so in any organization it may not possible to develop an application by one developer there is a multiple developer is there no? Um, the best uh, for most for most demerit is facing problem during the testability of an application i'll give you another example suppose there i'll give you one scenario suppose suppose take a take uh, we have to take an engine not engine suppose we had to take a manglion manglion it is already that is the most beneficial part of india we have to proud of that manglion launching program i'll show you how it will suppose at first uh, in Manglion, cryonic engine is used at first when you developed our rocket Rus or america some sorts of country did not give any cryogenic engine engine from our launching rocket but now we have we developed our own cryogenic engine right that is the history we have to pr proud for that but i have to show in programming i have to take uh, one engine suppose it's a cryogenic engine okay i'll show you so, suppose Mang Manglion class has completed its implementation until engine class come suppose let me check once i'll write in code format behind line suppose uh, suppose that is a basically a uh, rocket launcher yeah for rocket launcher we have to implement in a class format for that uh, rocket rocket launcher uh, a one class or engine 
is a different class. We completed rocket launcher, but the engine is not yet completed to inserting in that. So we cannot wait for the engine. Now. We have to create some mock engine, dummy engine, so that our rocket can launch in. So simply I have to code it for you. Please give me some time. I'll code it. That is the one for. Suppose a class cryogenic. And that is a class there. You have to engine have different mode. You have to start the engine basically. For that, you have to take one method. For the engine starting, suppose we have to take it out. You have to take different mode, automatic mode, manual mode, or zero, non starting mode. For that, you have to take and start int mode. Suppose we will take it mode. That is a cryogenic engine. Okay. Suppose class mock engine. That is the beautiful example, right? It seems half huh. expense. Engine, mock engine, extends. That is the simple you have to put. You have to start in. Different model you have to give. In. That is another class. No engine on return on that is mock engine two return. That is the cryogenic engine. We have to fit it the dummy, dummy mock engine to extend the cryogenic engine class. That is the main program that you have to check. Suppose you have to take for test our class, you have to fit it in our moon lion that specifically in the rocket. So that class is class online expense. Suppose you have to take mock engine. You have to drive. You have to launching means we have to drive. Suppose you have to take a drive method and it's launching. We have to inherit the super the start method, no? Okay, that concept is quite not quite critical, it is a moderate concept we have to use. So you have to store that mode is specific, specifically in integer format, right? So you have to store in int result, okay? If result is equal to zero, it will not come in automatically. Yeah. Engine is not started. That is the basic value. You have to code in else if you You have to apply the condition else if result. What do you have to get? Engine manual. That is a good concept. Engine. Starting, you'll say you have to apply another condition if result is equal to two. Beautiful concept. That one, Sunita Williams, uh, Elon Musk will rescue, rescue her very shortly. He, he faced difficulties now that rocket engine, there is some error in that rocket engine so that she cannot come to the earth like that. But Elon Musk tried. reach out to you through a great mind yeah 
engine for that if result is equal to two engine will start in automatic mode yeah engine starting in that concept i will show you how to use the composition what is the uh, that credentiality of inheritance what is the demerity of inheritance i will show you in the So class Mangalayan, then I have to main launcher. I have to create another class that is the main launcher class. You have to launching that is the engine part also completed. Mangalayan, the part rocket is also completed. I have to launching my rocket with the space. What I will see Okay. Main method for links to the We have to create a class of Manglion in that launcher so that we can drive it. No? Okay, Manglion, Mangal. You have to drive it. That is the basic launching our engine to the space. I have to code and I have to show you what is the error in there. Okay. That is every part I already wrote it down. That is the main launcher. That is the Mangalayan. What is the error in there? I will show you. Mock engine 2, mock engine 3. Uh -huh. Weird. Somehow you have to launching my. You have to drive it. Let's see what it will give. Engine started in manual mode. It cannot shortly, it cannot emphasize everything in one moment. You have to, every time you have to, changing in our code to launching our engine. Manglion 1, then it will give. That is manual mode, no? Let's see. It will. Engine not started. But basically, you have to, every time you have to change change in that code. From testability point of view, it is not good. As I tell you before, you have to launch again. Again, 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 we have to launch sometimes. That is a not. You have to launch our engine. After that, you have to again manually input that. That is a not good code to that extent. No? It is manual mode. Every time you have to change this in that. We have to change code again and again for the possible output, which is not possible to test in the application. No? Suppose we have to launch again. We have to one manual mode. If you want for automatic mode, then we have to change in code again and again. For testability point of view, we have to give the dot class file to the testing team, right? But again and again, that is a not correct process. So we can use what composition, composition and through polymorphism, we can correct this code. How to correct this code? I will show you. Wait. Suppose that is the already baked class. Okay. I have to copy. Okay, let's see it is project three. I'll show you how we'll do it. Code is everything is same, but you have to little bit change this in launching. We have to change this in your engine. How we'll change it Mangalayan? Okay, I'll show you. That is the Mangalayan class, right? Specifically, we have to drive it engine, inject, inject the engine in that class. That is the constructor. For that, we have to put engine here to initialize it. Engine. Public word drive that is the super not e dot start. Okay, that is the so same code will be there. You have to save it. I inject, inject the engine class here yeah. for main launcher. You have to I have to use your polymorphism. Check it out how polymorphism beautiful beautifully used in it. Okay, new Manglion is there. So in that you have to insert our new Manglion. 
check it out. We have to launching our engine into the space. Mongolian one new map engine two. New mock engine one, let me check on small line two. Small line two. New mock engine three. Yeah. You have I have to run this code. Check it out. Engine not started, engine started in manual mode, engine in engine in automatic mode. That's it. How beautifully our lock record is launched into the space. That is the best part of the example. How beautifully through that composition we we do it for, for the most of the part through composition and later part I used polymorphism to run this program or launching our Hmong lion into the space. That is the most specific part of the program, how we code. That is the beautiful concept. I have to brush up my knowledge, so I will share with you guys. Have a nice day. Thank you. Do coding.